This man owns the world's most advanced private air force after buying 46 F-A-18 Hornets. For the last 30 years, Don Curlin has been flying for the airlines, working on real estate deals, setting up the world's biggest skydiving meets, and building a private air force the likes of which even he has a hard time believing is possible. Last month, his company would be purchasing multiple squadrons worth of surplus Royal Australian Air Force RAF, FA-18 Hornets to be used in the contractor adversary air support role in the United States. In that role, they would primarily fly against US military fighter pilots, replicating aerial threats from potential foes. So basically, they are bad guys for hire, but strictly for training and development work. Now, not only do we have all the details on that purchase, which is even more impressive than it initially seemed, but we allow talked at length with the entrepreneur owner of Air USA, located in Quincy, Illinois, about his company's past and what is turning into a remarkable, if not downright historic, future. Don Curlin imported his first foreign military jet, an L-39 Albatross, in 1994, at a time when doing so was an extremely complex and convoluted affair full of pitfalls and unknowns. Since then, he has repeated the process dozens of times over and was the first owner of a private MiG-29 fulcrum in the United States, among a long list of other exotic flying firsts. He now holds eight licenses with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms ATF, allowing him to own military machine guns and cannons, as well as thousands of rounds of ammunition to fire through them. He was also one of the early pioneers of the then-fledgling, if not wholly experimental, adversary air support market. In the early 2000s, he joined forces with the Airborne Tactical Advantage Company ATAC, which was blazing a trail with their contracts with the Navy to supply fast jet targets and electronic warfare pod-toting adversaries that mimic everything from enemy cruise missiles to fighters for Navy and Marine fighter aircraft and Navy surface combatants to train against. During those early years, Air USA worked as a subcontractor for Attic, flying the vast majority of the contracted subsonic adversary support flight hours. So, Curlin and his company's experience in what is now an exploding adversary support marketplace dates back to its very genesis. Fast forward to today and Curlin now owns an impressive fleet of ex-military aircraft that perform a wide number of roles for the Defense Department, from training joint terminal attack controllers JTACs, the modern designation for forward air controllers on the ground, to saturating the sensor systems of America's most advanced tactical fighters with aggressor adversaries in the air.